All right, uh, this is that Blues Junior from yesterday with the Eminence Neo Lil Texas speaker. And uh, I'm not knocked out by this pairing. The Neo Lil Texas is a 125 watt speaker. This is a 15, 18 watts if you're feeling generous amp. So the uh, speaker is barely going to be operating within its maximum range of efficiency. It sounds a little cold to me. Some people will be like, oh, it's because it's brand new, needs to break in. I find that while speakers do change as you play the first 20, 40 hours on them, except for very specific kinds of speakers, most speakers don't change a ton. You can pretty much get a pretty good impression out of the box if they're going to work or not. Uh, and the qualities you like uh, will still be there six weeks later. Uh, it may even sound a little bit better, but they maintain their characteristics fairly fairly commonly, even if they get sweeter or whatever as they get some playtime. Now, that's a real thing. As the paper moves, it gets uh, less stiff, et cetera, et cetera. But you can judge speakers typically when they're brand new like this one is. This one has got like 20 minutes of playing time so far. In addition to feeling a little bit hard to me, I can't tell if the speaker lacks low end or whether the upper mids are just so dominant that the lows uh, suffer in comparison. Now, some of that's going to be because it's mounted in an open back 1x12, and the Blues Junior cabinet is not a resonant, wonderful acoustic place for any 12-inch speaker to be. And any 12-inch speaker will be a little bit bass shy in a Blues Junior 1x12, and will be a little bit boxy because of the size of the cab. So I'm going to play a Strat and a 335, just some quick stuff so you can hear what the speaker sounds like. I'm not really playing music so much as like, here's how a rake sounds, here's how the low end sounds, here's chord separation. So the Strat 335 with the ditto looper, and then I'm going to play it back uh, through my shop cab uh, with a WGS ET65 mic with a 57. I'm not changing any of the amp settings. I'll show the amp settings on the screen here. I'm not changing anything other than the, the, which speaker is connected to the amp and moving the mic. Now, while you know you cannot exactly mic one speaker with a, 50, with a 57 the same way you mic another, I am always aiming for pretty much the same placement, which is right where the dust cap meets the cone. I have found that that translates really well for these videos. Uh, the response I get on playback is very much like what I hear in the room. Uh, my room is relatively small, has a lot of metallic objects in it because I have all these amp chassis sitting on wire racks, as you can see in the background there. Things tend to vibrate and ring out. I've got acoustic guitars, I've got guitars up on the wall. So close mics are about all I can do here. If I were to set up a U87 six feet back, the amp would sound great, but so would everything else in the room. And you'd hear the room dimensions, which are small. So everything is a compromise. If I can get this ditto pedal to work, haven't used it in a while. Um, Let's see what it sounds like. So Strat and 335, just basic stuff.
So as you can hear, the ET-65 has a lot more low end than the uh, Little Texas. In fact, I had to add the, the take with them, the EQ knobs set differently for the ET-65 as well. So you have three comparisons. Because if, when I first set the amp up and dialed in the tone stack to make the Little Texas sound as full as it can possibly sound, they just got woofy on the ET-65. So I'm not telling you what to like or, or what to, you know, don't, like or dislike something because I tell you to. I'm just putting this information out there. This is what a stock blues junior, other than the cool down bias, sounds like uh, through a Neo Little Texas from Eminence. I'm not saying that the Neo Little Texas is a bad speaker. I'm not hearing it as a great match for a blues junior, but that's up to the owner, not me. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> 